Do you find peace in Jesus' words? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. A young man stood with his back to the mall entrance, holding a cocked, long-barreled gun between his knees. The police had summoned a priest after reaching a stalemate with him as he was threatening suicide. The troubled young man asked for a Catholic priest. He was young and agitated, not more than 20 years old, said Father Jim. As he looked so much in pain, Father Jim asked, Where does it hurt? What? said the young man, confused by the question. You look like in pain, Father Jim went on. Tell me, where it hurts or what's causing the pain? Father Jim remembered the counselor who once told him that suicidal people don't actually want to kill themselves. They are hurting and want to end that hurt. Get the person to talk about the pain and confusion and you'll help him deal with what's going on. The suicidal urge will dissipate from talking about the pain, according to the counselor. Without much hesitation, the 20-year-old said he had lost his job, which caused him to lose his apartment. He had a fight with his parents over money he owed. His girlfriend had broken up with him, and he was living in his pickup truck, which was supposed to be repossessed. Everything he owned had been stashed away in that truck until that very afternoon when someone stole it all while he had been applying for a job. He was at the end of his strength to cope. But while he talked, he put his gun down and began to smoke a cigarette and seemed less tense and more caught up with the narration. After about half an hour, Father Jim suggested to get the gun out of the way because guns make him nervous. He did not resist as Father Jim lifted up the young man and endorsed him to the waiting police officer. Then one of the patient law officers said, They had to take him to the hospital and get him something to eat. Everything would be okay, they assured him. Now, unresisting, the young man asked Father Jim to say a prayer for him. He offered one right there, adding a prayer of thanks for the caring police and the safe outcome of the trauma. When he was being led away, Father Jim asked the young man, which parish he belonged to. Parish? He replied, I don't belong to any parish. But you are Catholic, aren't you? No, he said, I'm nothing. Then can I ask why you requested for a Catholic priest? The young man replied, Because in the movies, when a guy wants to kill himself, he always asks for a Catholic priest. In today's reading, Jesus says, Learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. The gospel shows the tenderness with which Jesus welcomes and accepts the little ones. He wanted the confused, oppressed, and poor to find rest and peace in him, just like the troubled young man in our opening story. Jesus then extends his invitation. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Who are the ones laboring wearily and heavily burdened? Again, it is the common people. Jesus then chastises 
the scribes and Pharisees because they tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. Jesus further invites the weary, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What is the yoke Jesus offers? We might infer that it is his teaching, his way of discipleship, which is not burdensome, but life-giving. He invites the weary to learn from him, for he is not a tyrant who lords it over his disciples, but is gentle and humble in heart. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. It is life yoked to Jesus under the God's gracious and merciful reign, free from the burden of sin and free to rest deeply and securely in God's grace. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Lord, for your meek and gentle ways. Thank you for sharing in our burdens and allowing us to find rest and bask in your holy presence. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.